Chris here with Barnyard Outdoors. I'm going to be doing another pie iron treat out here. This time it's lunch, and for lunch, I had to get myself a double pie iron. So, um, this is an interesting one because I tried making a pizza pocket uh, a few months ago, and it didn't work out that good. I think I posted some pictures on a Facebook group, but it uh, it didn't turn out the way I wanted, and it wasn't wasn't worthy of a video but one of the people commented on that picture and they said I do these for the kids all the time they do it in a double pie iron and what they use is a Tostitos pizza this this is brilliant this is a frozen pizza it's actually thawed out a little bit you need it thawed out for this to work right it's got everything I need on it I just need to cook it and I'm gonna cook it in the pie iron like it's a, a calzone, right? I'm just gonna fold it over and make a pizza sandwich out of it. This is this is stupid simple to do. I always overdo it on a lot of my pie iron recipes. This is gonna be another one that's just super simple, especially if you got kids with you or if you just want a whole bunch of pizza, right? Which is what I'm gonna do in the mood for a lot of pizza. Double pie iron. It's all seasoned up. And I'm just going to take this pizza, stick it in there, and fold it in half. Now I got the combination. I wanted some variety. But look at this. This is the, the perfect size for this double. So I'm going to set it in here, just going to fold it in half. It's not as thawed as I'd hoped, but it's close enough, right? And that's it, All right? Fold it in half and secure it in the pie iron. I got a little pizza coming out the side, that's all right. Sometimes pie iron cooking can be a little messy. And the best part is, is that piece there, I'll show you. That'll, that'll just burn off, that'll, not a big deal. Other than that, it fits in there nice and snug. I'm gonna go put this on the fire, I'm gonna put it up on the grate because I do wanna make sure all the meat cooks. So, uh, it's going to have to be kind of low and slow, I think is going to be the way on this, so I don't want to burn it. Remember to flip it off, and um, like I said, the pie iron is already seasoned. It's already got oil in it. It's ready to go. So I just got that setting up on the grate. Got some good coals and some flame under there. All right, it's been about three minutes. Let's flip it over. Oh, look at that. Oh, that looks pretty good so far. All right, it's been, uh, it's been about 12 minutes, and I've been flipping this every three minutes. So let's see. Oh, look at that. That looks cheesy. But I still think it's going to need just a little more time. Let's see what this side looks like. Oh, yeah. We're going to give that some more time. Low and slow. All right. I'm going to call this thing done. Look at that. That looks delicious. That is perfect. So getting this onto the plate is gonna be a little challenging here. If you don't own one of these tools and you do a lot of pie iron stuff, this, these things are great. Here it is. Look at that. That looks amazing. Nice crispy crust. I'll flip this over. Look at that. That is going to be delicious. Of 
course, cars always have to drive by when you're doing stuff like this. We're surprised how busy this park is with people just kind of driving around, checking it out. All right, I think this might be a little messy to eat. And I know it's gonna be really hot. Mmm, cheese. Meat. And pizza. Oh, wow. That is really, really hot. All right, let's try this out. Hot, hot, hot. Mmm. Mmm. It's like a giant pizza roll. Also made by Totino's. Great pizza. Oh, this is this is really good. Really hot too, which is good. Because the wind's starting to kick up. It's getting a little chilly out. But this was a, this was another fun one to make. Super easy. I mean, why didn't I think of this? Frozen pizza. Thought out a little bit so you can fold it, fold it over, throw it in the double pie iron, and you've got the whole pizza. I mean, I'm gonna eat the whole pizza. This would be good for kids if you got a lot of people eating, but you know, you don't get a body like this by just eating a piece of two or pizza. So, another successful pie iron thing. Thanks everybody for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And in the comments, put uh, any ideas you might have for pie iron recipes. I, I really enjoy using my pie iron. And uh, I'd love to hear from you all. See you on the next video.